Hi guys, this is GadgetMan54 and I just wanted to put a little video out there about what do we think about the new UK drone laws that are being bantered around and all over the news yesterday my wife had great pleasure in telling me that I'm going to have to register my drones and I'm going to have to take a pilot, some sort of test, like flight test or whatever, I don't know very vague at the moment of actually how it's all going to go down and what uh, it entails um, due to weight and everything. So I'm just trying to get a, a good place. With, well, I'll just hold it there. So what do you guys think of this new possible laws that are going to be introduced? I think it's not going to work basically. You know, the FAA did this in America, yeah? Made everyone pay drone, you know, they had to register their drones if it was over a certain, uh, they had category sizes as well as weight. And we're just saying if it's a weight thing now, surely um, a bigger quad is more dangerous than a smaller quad. Not so much the speed, but the weight of a bigger quid quad will do more damage than a little quad, you would think. So they should, one point I think what they need to do is they need to categorize what is a drone if you look at legislation it doesn't specifically say a drone is a quadcopter but on the news all they're talking about is people with quadcopters is a fixed wing classed as a drone is a helicopter is you know there's it's an aeroplane a glider it's an unmanned vehicle that is a drone so uh, the Americans banter about drone as in, you know, a quadcopter, they call them drones. But over here, we're sort of latching on to that concept and it isn't actually true. So what they first need to sort out is what specifically is a drone? What, what does it cover? Quadcopters, fixed wings, planes, whatever. And then they need to look at other things. Two if they think that by registering your drone quadcopter plane glider fixed wing you are going to be a, a responsible person that isn't necessarily the case point one my scooter was stolen by a 14 year old boy okay he didn't even have his license to drive my motorbike but he still stole it and he drove it round and smashed it to pieces. So he didn't have a license and yet he still stole my motorbike, etc. So people that don't register are still going to fly irresponsibly. This is not going to make people be good pilots. It will make the people that have been sort of the fundamentals of life that be a law-abiding citizen and things like that, those kind of people will think, yeah, I have to register my drone, I, I will do what I need to do. But for the element of people, the idiot element, as I call it, this registration will not rule out and will not stop people flying at airports, flying at people, spying on this, doing that. This will not rule out that. The people that do it will still do it. They won't even register. They're drones. They're the rogue element of drone pilots, quadcopter pilots, pilots in general. So they will not abide by the rules. If they're not doing it now, they're not going to do it later. So bringing out uh, legislation is not going to stop people flying their airports. It's just not going to happen. People are still going to do stupid things. They're still going to act stupid, irresponsible. This passing of this law will not change the fact that people are still going to do stupid things with an aircraft. Okay? So the legislation, it might give them a bit of an idea of how many people have. But if everyone doesn't, or some people don't, they're only going to get a rough idea of how many people have quadcopters, planes, gliders, whatever. And they need to categorise these vehicles from size to weight to class A through to D or whatever. Now, in America, you're all aware of this in the community, people. I'm not just I'm not telling you something that you don't already know. 
that basically the FAA added a law onto an existing bylaw. And that in itself was illegal. And that is why this uh, lawyer, solicitor, took him to court and he won. And one man against a massive organisation like that. And he is now, that court ruling has been overturned and now they're looking at people getting reimbursed the money that they've paid out because they shouldn't have paid out money. They added, they changed the law. You can't change a law that already exists. And they added a law onto and a law, which that is illegal in itself. And that's what the judge agreed with. They did something. They changed the law after it's been going for 40, 50, 60 years, however long it's been going for. Excuse me, a bit hot. So to do what they did, that in itself was illegal. And that is what the judge has ruled, that they did something illegal and he quashed it and found in the favour of the of the defendant who was taking them to court to say you can't do this to our hobby this is now happening in England so do we have to do what he's done all get together and sign a massive petition to say no you can't do this we're not going to do it there's already existing laws in this country about line of sight you know the height restriction is what between four to five hundred meters high and line of sight up to four to five hundred meters away if they're going to change the law to 50 meters high and a hundred meters away I'm not going to want to fly that close that's the whole the buzz I get is from going long distance with FPV I know where I am I know what I'm doing, I know where my vehicle is, I know what I, where I am over. Where I go flying is fields. And yeah, you get a few cattle, but one day they might be at one end of the field and the next day when you fly over the field, they are under you. I can't help that. I can't make the cows go over the other side of the field before I take off. When I take off, I don't know what's on the other side of that hedge. It's public land. I'm allowed to go there and do it, to my knowledge. People walk their dogs there, but as a, as a rule, I am in that field on my own. So I'm not hurting anyone, I'm not spying on anyone. Yeah, I'm going further than, I'm not going further than 400 metres up, but I'm going further than 400 metres out. But I can see my vehicle all the time. And I believe that that is one of the laws. If you can see your vehicle, there is no issue. And if it's a lovely clear day, I can see it for a thousand metres away. You know. So am I doing wrong by flying up to a thousand metres? You guys are probably all going to say yes you are. Leave comments. What do you guys do? I know people fly miles away. Literally miles away. With a Dragon Link radio transmitter and receiver. So, I, 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 I'm like, am I breaking the law by doing what I'm doing? I hope to think I'm not breaking the law, because there's nobody in the field, there's no houses nearby. So I deliberately fly there, because if it crashes, it's going to land it in a field. It might land in a bucket of water, or a trough of food, it might hit a sheep or a cow, I don't know. You can't rule out a failure, yeah? Quadcopters, planes, batteries fail, motors fail, flight controllers fail. It's very rare, but it happens. And if my vehicle falls from the sky, two things have gone, the motor or the battery. I can't control these things. So bringing in registration isn't gonna reduce the amount of accidents that happen. Accidents happen because it's an unplanned event. That's a definition of an accident. So you can't stop accidents from happening. They're going to happen no matter what you do. Look where you are. Common sense comes into this. Look where you are. Look where you want to go and decide, do I really want to do this? Should I really do this? Is it safe to do this? I've charged up my batteries in the morning, I do a little flight test, I check my GPS, 
make sure it will return to home. I always do that before I do a flight to make sure that it knows where it is. And if I need to, for any reason, I can do that. So the, the legislation of the registration is not going to stop people flying near airports. It's not going to stop people being irresponsible. It's not going to stop accidents happening. It's not going to stop people flying over property. It's not going to stop people snooping on people. So what will this legislation do other than give the government a rough idea of how many people have a vehicle? I was thinking about this myself the other day, and this is one thing that they could do and they might do. When you buy a drone from a shop, Maplins, PC World, Argos, then they should be some sort of database. And when they sell a Phantom 4 or, or whatever, then it gets logged that Mr. Smith bought a drone, quadcopter, plane, glider, whatever, on this date from our store and it cost X amount of money. In no time they'd get a rough idea or a better idea of how many people have these unmanned vehicles. Other than that, I can't see what this legislation is going to do. Gives them an idea of how many people have them. It's not going to stop people being stupid. It's not going to stop people doing what they shouldn't be doing. So I don't understand what they're going to gain by this. Please, please, people, do you think we need to do a petition? I don't know how I'll go about it, but I'm happy if someone gives me an idea, helps me. We need to do something about this or we're going to get railroaded into doing something that's going to be bad for our hobby. And we're all hobbyists. I repair my quadcopters. I build my quadcopters. I put things onto different frames to make it lighter so it can go faster. There's no law on the speed. Are they going to bring a law in? You're not allowed to go over certain speed. That's what they were thinking of doing in America, but that sort of fell by the wayside and it never happened and I'm looking at my watch because I need to go back to work I've had a little bit of a gap this video will be uploaded today what do you think about this people what do you honestly think about this do you think this legislation is a good thing or do you think it's a bad thing I think it's a good thing but I don't know how it's going to be effective how it's going to be enforced are they going to get like drone police who's going to enforce this these new legislations you know who who who's whose shoulders is it going to fall on the police are already stretched to bloody bursting now so they're not going to be able to do it so who's going to be responsible for enforcing these new laws that they're trying to pass in parliament as we speak how is it going to work and as I've already said a thousand times it is a thousand one times it's not going to stop people being stupid being idiots flying irresponsible it's not going to do that so you have to figure out another way to do what you're trying to do and I understand you're worried about the airports issue that is very valid and very important I fly I don't want a bloody craft crashing into the plane and bringing the plane down and we all bloody die and stuff god no but no one's ever done it it's the word of the pilot a near miss but there's no physical evidence of a near miss so you know and in America you have to do this pilot test if you want to do this commercial if you want to make money from it checking building structures selling property weddings search and rescue you do a pilot test if you want to make money I don't know what the test involves in the UK but does that mean I can fly a plane I could become a pilot because I'm doing exactly the same test that a full qualified pilot does. I don't want to fly a big bloody plane. I want to fly a model aircraft. That's why I do this hobby. I, I don't want to be inside the thing. I want to be flying it from the floor. That's that's what I want to do. So what does anyone know what this law 
uh, the test entails because I'm very interested in seeing what I will be made to do if we don't all stand together and say no you can't make us do this we you can't make us do it you've got to look at another way of doing this that's more sensible so thumbs up people leave comments give me your thoughts this is just my point of view that bringing this legislation isn't going to stop people being stupid and it's all over the papers it's all in the news it's on the tv like the last two days now so something is coming people something is coming and we need to stand up and be heard and be counted and say you're not gonna do this to us we're happy to work with you but you're not going to tell us what we're going to do and expect us to roll over and do it. It's not going to happen. But we need to do something about it before they do do something quite dramatic and is going to affect all of us people. Not just me, not the bloke down the street, but everyone in this hobby will be affected by what they are going to do unless we do something about it. So, subscribe to my channel, like comment leave your views leave me a message i get back to all my messages you know i do people if i can help you guys out i always always do so this has been a very uh angry and upset gadget man 404 out